2022 Audi Q4 e-tron Quattro first test. Just a luxurious electric VW. Every time you select reverse, say, to back up to a charging station, you'll notice, at the upper edge of the camera's view, a red bar hovers. It's the taillight blocking part of the lens. Indeed, this overlap is minor. Something like 98% of what's behind you remains visible. But this little incongruity is largely indicative of the 2022 Audi Q4 e-tron experience. As Audi works to expand its electric lineup, the relatively inexpensive and mainstream Q4 is a crucial addition. Built on the MEV architecture that also underpins the Volkswagen ID.4, the Q4's performance is close to its workaday counterpart. But the expectations here, like the price tag, are higher. The four ring logos suggest a luxurious overall experience. The logos are present, but that experience is not quick enough. Whether in standard SUV or swoopy sportback form, every Q4 carries a battery with 77.0 kWh of usable capacity, which on 40 badged base models sends electrons to a rear motor. That's right, a rare rear drive Audi. Our test vehicle was built in range topping prestige trim, which has a 50 badged dual motor powertrain enabling the Quattro all wheel drive Audi is known for. Combined, these motors spin out 295 horsepower and 339 pounds to foot of torque numbers identical to all-wheel drive equipped Volkswagen ID.4 models. Thus, it's perhaps unsurprising this Q4 delivers similar performance, clocking a 5.6 to second 0 to 60 mile per hour time while the ID.4 took 5.4 seconds. In the quarter mile, the Q4 took 14.2 seconds at 98.6 miles per hour, a blink behind the 14.1 second. 99.5 mile per hour ID4. This 4,940 pound Audi weighs just 21 pounds more than the Volkswagen. Out and about, the Q4's acceleration is entirely sufficient, smooth and uninterrupted in that distinctly electric way. There's appreciable pep up to about 60 miles per hour when it begins to taper off. Although not lacking, the Q4 speed doesn't thrill like other dual motor compact electric crossovers, which are generally more powerful and quicker. For example, the Kia EV6 hits the mark in 4.5 seconds, and then there's its ballistic GT variant. Similar to the Audi and VW, the Kia has a related Genesis branded model using the same mechanical, the GV60, which in its quickest performance trim hits 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. Handling matters. On the smooth surface at our test track, the Q4 gripped the skid pad at 0.86 grams average and lapped our figure 8 course in 26.4 seconds at 0.67 grams average. Both results are close to those of the dual-motor ID.4 and others in the segment, such as the sporty Ford Mustang Mach-E4X. That's aided by the Q4's 49-51% front-slash-rear weight distribution, a balance that melds with the motor's power delivery to make changes in direction intuitive. However, undulations, imperfections, and textures that mar roads everywhere perturb. The Q4. As we found in our first drive, the suspension setup seems oversprung and underdamped, leading to a firm, busy ride that subjects occupants to plenty of horizontal motions. Such body control burdens the driver to catch the Q4 as it rebounds away from mid-corner bumps. If the steering were more consistent, that might not be a concern. The Q4 is equipped with a progressive ratio rack meant to enhance maneuverability at low speeds and reduce effort at higher speeds. To the former, success, the Q4's turning radius is remarkably tight, letting it angle into snug parking spaces and around sharp corners. To the latter, not so much. The on-center numb spot and unsettled ride conspire to make highway driving an exercise in small course corrections. That means even more interaction with the strange steering wheel, which isn't round but rather has a decidedly flat top and bottom, with canted sides that give it a hexagonal sensation in the hands. 